Aussie Shooting Channel. Today we are just having a look at the EGW Evolution Gunworks uh, Tika 20MOA rail uh, that I got off of eBay around $88.50 and uh, also got discount on eBay so it cost me a little less. Um, this one here model number is uh, 44002 and is designed and manufactured in the Quaker Town, uh, Pennsylvania, EGW one piece, piece uh, Picatinny. Scope mounts provide excellent platform for mounting optics whether it's for the next hunt or it's the next match. EGW uh, has the right scope mount for your application. Most mounts are available in 0 and 20 MOA. Um, mounts and Piccadilly Weaver style rings. Recommend using blue Loctite on the mounting screws that are included with the mount to 20 pounds. And uh, pretty much uh, has other scope mounts for all uh, rifle brands. And uh, make sure your gun is unloaded by performing upgrades. So you get a little screwdriver uh, what's got a uh, hex key with it and uh, we have the mount already mounted to my Tika varmint um, with the little pole scope on it and uh, these quick detachable rings I can show you with it off and uh, it sticks out about that far from the end of the receiver it's not touching at all and it is very flat. <laughs> Works great. Long enough for bigger soft scopes. Looks excellent. Then the standard uh, rings that you get with the Tika, that's well upgraded, has a 20mm slant so it's higher in the back and drops thinner. As you can see down the bottom, gives me extra elevation. Uh, normally it's about 60mm away or 50mm away and so it gives me a bit more. Uh, it's to shoot longer than 500 yards plus, so I should be able to shoot the 1,000 yards with it. Uh, we've got our nice muzzle brake here. Just adds that tactical coolness. Um, this is pretty much owned uh, for the past uh, two years or more. Still haven't done anything else to it other than the previous video that we've done with uh, putting these uh, plastic bits on the rifle. And I've just been playing around with the scope and the rings. These rings are 30mm and they have the spacer in between. So it's not great um, without the proper rings for it until I can afford night force or something. Um, but it works. Um, so we can uh, turn this around. So we'll just detach the scope, quick detachables, pretty awesome. And it will remember where it was, so you no need to worry about realigning your scope. That's what it looks like here. Two screws up the top, two screws here. When taking this, um, the factory one off, there are little plastic screws inside there and they're very hard to get out. I had trouble with getting the plastic screws out of the receiver. So hopefully you get ones that don't have it in there. There's a little bit of trouble getting them off. But these work pretty good. Um, after that, they're lined up. Blue lock type in there. And it's pretty easy to to get on there so pretty much they give you the spanner and they come off fairly easy so with all these screws off just loose up and put it down so basically 
that's what your factory rifle looks like. There's a little a recess in there for other scope rings that are meant to fit it. So it's a recall lug there. Um, this one just goes on top. So what I'll do is I'll get some blue Loctite. We'll put that on there. As I didn't put Loctite on it before. Um, just shoved it on there straight away and went to the range and sighted it in. So I'll go do some blue Loctite. We've got some blue Loctite now. Just put it on the bottom of those bolts here. Just one drop will do. And it should be fine. So it's got the... I'm getting it, EGW TKT3, 20mm away on the bottom, and a little code at the bottom. Put some blue Loctite and pop them back on. Alright, some blue Loctite. Blue Loctite's on there. See a bit of blue, then just screw that back on the top here. Trying not to get it smudged everywhere. There we go. Just tighten these evenly now. Blue Loctite might come out of the hole. Just bit by bit, evenly one end at a time. Equal force, and it's to 20 pounds, but I'm just tightening it as much as I'll go. That's how you install an EGW rail. Pretty much this stuff will set soon. And you shouldn't have any vibrations through it. This just lines up. And screws around. back up tight tight done just go it's back on ready to be taken out to the range again and resided make sure nothing moved thanks for watching subscribe